Angie, welcome back to Anya. Good to see you, honey. This is Lisa, Lisa Charlie. Lisa. Chef Ricky is here waiting for you guys. Oh, good. He's ready to put some great food in front of us. I told her about the guacamole in the car. and. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, good. Take Let's it to the kitchen. Go eat. Come right. on. To the kitchen. We are about to learn how to make Angie Martinez's favorite dish, which is guacamole. Chef Ricky has all the answers here. She was talking about pomegranate in guacamole? It adds a fresh burst of acidity and fruitiness. How many different types do you have? We have three. The verde guac, which has pomegranate, which is Angie's favorite component of the guacamole, but there's also poblanos, tomatillos, pumpkin seeds, and cortija cheese. And then we have a traditional that we make with jalapeno, lime, cilantro, and red onion. And then we have a pineapple chipotle. So that's the spiciest of the three, but there is some sweetness there as well. We're starting with the basic guacamole. Here we call that the traditional. Avocado? We're gonna take avocado. So we'll start by mashing this just a bit. We don't want to mash too much, all right? We want to see some chunkiness. Okay. So we're going to go with two limes. Okay. The limes are going to do two things. It's going to give us some brightness, but it's also going to prevent oxidation, so that way the guacamole doesn't turn brown. Incorporate the lime juice. Perfect. And then we're going to go with some jalapeno, red onion next, fresh cilantro. And now we'll just fold. This is what we use for the base for the other two guacamoles. So everything else are just toppings that you put on top of each one? What we do with the other two is we add some heat and we do that in the form of chipotle puree. So you'll notice that our other two guacamoles have this kind of orange tinge and it's because we use chipotle in adobo. It's a tomato marinade which adds smokiness as well as spice. Okay. And if you could just grab this. The syrup? Yeah. And we're just going to mix it. So now we have the base for our other two guacamoles. So I'll demonstrate to you how we're gonna go about building the other two. And now we have our pineapple and our chipotle. This is agave syrup with morita chilies. And we basically toast the chilies first and then we steep them in the agave nectar. Then we puree them. And that's what our pineapple's marinated. And this sits for 12 hours? This would normally sit for 12 hours. We make this in large batches and we let it sit. And this is one of the toppings uh, for the pineapple guacamole. And we go with a sprinkle of cortija cheese, and that's our pineapple chipotle guacamole. And then we have the pomegranates that she raves about. Angie's favorite. Put some pomegranate seeds on there. Yeah, especially if it's for her, you just gotta load it up there. <laughs> you yeah. just gotta load it up for her. <laughs> some toasted pumpkin seeds, or pepitas as they're called in Mexican markets. Pepitas, yes. What made you think of this combination? It's everything you kind of want. It's nutty, it's sweet, it's sour, it's a little salty from the cheese. And when we create dishes, it's always just about balance on your palate. Uh, never anything that's one note that's gonna make you tired of eating what you're eating. We don't have to worry about that. Cause I'm gonna be coming back for more. What else? The roasted poblanos. Not as pretty as you would do it. And the tomatillos. The tomatillos add some acidity. And then we'll finish that off with the cheese. Right. Chef Ricky, I can't wait to dig into that, but I know you have a lot of other things to get working on. I'm gonna head back upstairs. All right, thank, thank you. you so much.